Okay, I guess uh, we're just going to get into it. Uh, level 3, everyone. Uh, let me see, I, I didn't even put it. Oh, well. Level 3, everyone, and now we have uh, a giant blue square. That is a pond. I know that most of you think you know what a pond looks like. You don't. This is a pond. This is a gorgeous pond, the best pond. Um, we are we are teaching our square how to drink. Um, this added a few intricacies to the code. This code, the code that I actually used to make the square drink, is actually um, different from what I used in processing three, two, one. There we go. Bring my chair up. Um, and so I actually had to teach myself how to code this twice, which is fun. If I ever do, if I ever go back to processing three, two, one, just for funsies, I'll show you um, what I did there. That one I actually had to deconstruct a uh, stopwatch code, um, a stopwatch that allowed for uh, pausing and resetting. I needed the pause uh, aspect of it because what I did is I created a count down timer or a count up timer that I subtracted um, from the natural time. So the drinking aspect, uh, obviously when the square rolls over the piece of food, it immediately vanishes, and he or she, Alfonso, so he, um, unless it's Anastasia, oh boy, uh, oh, I'm doing this late at night, I don't know why I am so lazy, um, <laughs> so food was easy uh once once the square rolls over the piece of food it uh teleports to a new location his hunger its hunger immediately uh changes now that is different because when you you can eat something in one bite you can't really drink a significant amount of uh a liquid in a very short amount of time and now that i'm saying that you absolutely can but that is not how i program my square my square likes to drink at a moderate pace so all of you ch chugging liquid people out there um congratulations that is not the square maybe in the future that will be an adaptive square or something i don't know um so i had to create a countdown timer for the square um so that it, when it's in the pod, it, oh my goodness, I'm yawning. Ooh, and I've had like six coffees today. Um, <laughs> uh, so it, it counts down. It's, it's very simple, and I am uh, over-explaining it, and I'm not doing so to make it look like I am any smarter than I am, because I can tell you how smart I am, and it's not that smart. Um, especially since it took me a long time to get this code right, a long time. Um, but besides that, uh, this, this code actually also includes, um, priority. So, uh, before the square could be content or it could be hungry. Now that really isn't priority. It is, but I didn't code it to be priority. I said whenever it's not hungry then it's content so it was an either or there were not multiple options in which um the the square had to decide what it was at the point in time well obviously if your hunger is above 10 and your thirst is above 10 oh for you counting at home you can take a drink i think that's four goodness uh for um Oh, if you have a hunger greater than 10 and a thirst greater than 10, then you're just going to get stuck in a loop where it wants to do both at the same time. And unless you're lucky enough that the piece of food is in the pathway that it needs to take to get to the pond, it's going to go in separate directions. And that's not going to be beneficial because it will confuse itself. And you don't want to do that. So what I had to do is I had to prioritize. Now, one of the things that I had to prioritize, uh, and I'll show you in the code later on, I had to add a third um, behavior. So I have content, which is behavior zero. Uh, you're, oh my! You know what? Just chug the bottle. I guess if you're if you're doing a drinking game to me, yawning. My goodness. Um, I need to go to bed. Uh, 
Oh, so zero is content. It is the absence, I guess, of a behavior, but it is technically behavior zero. Behavior one is hungry. Behavior two is thirsty. Now, behavior three is actually drinking because I um, I didn't want it to get stuck in a loop, and I originally coded it and realized I got stuck in a loop where it would immediately go down one because when it eats, it goes down four or five or six i forget let me see i'm gonna count when it when it uh gets hungry again and goes to eat food hold on uh 12 to 2 it removes it removes 10 hunger immediately well when you're drinking you could drink over time so it doesn't remove that much i think it removes three so i was getting stuck in a loop where it would be hungry and it would leave the pond and it'd be thirsty again but because thirst is a prioritized um a behavior would go touch the pond quickly drink just enough to get under that threshold that it was programmed to be under and then it would go try to eat and then it get thirsty before it reached the food and i realized that that was an issue so we now have the behavior drinking drinking says that if the square is in the pond and its thirst is above four i believe um then it needs to stay in the pond and that is prioritized above drinking and above eating and that's prioritized because i if it wasn't prioritized over either of those two it would leave the pond maybe not if it's prioritized over oh boy. goodness i'm glad nobody watches these uh it maybe if it wasn't prioritized over um the thirst it might i might be fine but um Besides that, you've watched it uh, for a while. Uh, you've Heck, you've almost watched it for uh, like eight minutes. Okay, we're going to go through the code real quick, see what I added. Um, this is all the same. We have a square. We have square barrier boundaries. There we go. We have a timer. I'll show you I had to introduce another timer, the countdown timer, um, or negative count up timer. Um, there we go. We have food. We eat, we, have, we are hungry, we have behavior, we have a pond, we're letting the pond be a, a parameter, a variable. We have variable in the pond. Uh, I had to say when you're in the pond, your timer goes up, your drinking timer goes up. When you're out of the pond, your drinking timer does not go up. Uh, you got to be thirsty. You have to have a pond X, a pond Y, a pond width, a pond height, and you have to drink while you're in the pond. It's very lovely. Um, I don't think this actually works. I think this is bogus code. Uh, hold on. Let's see if that was bogus code. That was me trying. Yeah, I think that's bogus code. That was me trying. So when you, uh, when it is meeting the parameter of drinking and it's, uh, drink timer is going up it's drink timer is actually going up once per frame i want to say um i could be wrong about that but it's going up very fast and obviously i don't want it to go very fast because it's only um it's only against a, a timer which is going up one per second so therefore i want it to go down one per second uh when it's drinking and then i will adjust the variable that says how um how that is multiplied so but i want it to mimic um seconds the other way around and that was one of my attempts um to do so was to say at an interval of a thousand you will count up one so i guess every thousand frames which doesn't make sense huh it's got to count up more than once per second, but I don't think it, or uh, 60 times per second, but I don't think it does. Oh, well, we're moving on. We're moving on. Um, let's see. Time it. Okay, so I put the second timer within square, so within the class. So you have the normal, um, where is it? Where is it? Huh. You have the, oh, there it is. You have the normal timer outside of the class, class square. You have the, uh, the thirst timer within class square. Um, yeah, 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 lovely, good, good. Um, this is just what you see here, the behavior, and it's doing lovely. See, square behavior three, square behavior two, one, zero. Yes, I have explained. Good, good. 
Um, do do do. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, there we go. If this behavior equals, uh, yep, if this behavior equals three, then it goes to the pond. Uh, no, actually, sorry. If this behavior equals three and it tries to leave the pond, then it's uh, multiplied by negative one. And then this is if it's outside of the pond, it needs to get into the pond. Um, there's our timer. Yep. If this if this in pond is true, which means uh, because it's within the square class, so if if the any square is in the pond or any iteration of this class is in the pond, um, and it returns true, then your timer value goes up. Uh, timer value um, is divisible by sixty. Uh, if the timer value divisible by 60 is is completely dis divisible by 60, I believe. I want to say that's what that means. If it can be completely divided by 60, um, then, like, divided down, um, which I, I got to figure out what that code means. It's lovely code. I love it. I've used it twice in here. I use it for the normal timer up here. Um, there it is, and I used it for this timer, except this timer does the other thing. Yes, okay. And I'm multiplying it by 4. So it's in the pond for 1 second, it loses 4 thirst. So that way it's not in the pond forever, because if it was just going at the same speed but opposite of the timer, then it would always be in the pond. Yes. Um, pond is a simple square. I mean, it's a beautiful pond, and nobody can tell you otherwise. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I've talked a lot. Uh, I've yawned a lot. Um, and I feel another one coming on. But um, uh, next week we will add uh, health. Health will look a lot like hunger. Health will probably be a really short video because there's not much to it. It's got to lead up to um, a, well, we need to kill our squares. Um, but when you tell a square what to do when it's about to die then it's always going to do that hopefully theoretically it will always perform in a way that you tell it to which is why i want to get to the point where starts uh stuff starts behaving in a way that i didn't think i was going to tell it to do um but a square knows how not if you teach a square how not to die it will always not die until you add you know uh, four or five buddies and then maybe the buddies cram it into a corner and it dies and that will be fun also I, that's the stage i'm stuck on right now so we'll probably only have six episodes until i tag on sit down and code some more um but hey six episodes that's pretty good <laughs> what a crud what is, oh the pink panther the um i have never won still seven nominations that's something okay and that's how you know that it's my bedtime um i hope you have a wonderful week i hope you join me next time for uh health and then we've got hunger thirst and health and what else really is there in the world besides those nothing basically you go out and you make sure you don't die and that's how life is lived so these squares are basically uh living beings by this point uh, in time uh and you can't tell me otherwise <laughs> everyone have a wonderful week and i will be back in the same place next week bye